Saturday afternoon, somewhere on a Welsh mountain. Here I am, freezing cold, in my shorts, with no headband on, shivering, fingerless gloves, should be wearing winter clothes. But here we go, so we want the review on uh, the new ice cream truck, but I'll show a little bit of where I am at the moment. Some of you will know my location. Have a little look. I give you a clue, it's north of Koski's. So hopefully you can hear what I'm saying. The wind's picking up and um, I'm on my way back down that way. Up over the other valley. Well not over the other valley, there's a canal this side of the valley. And I'm going about four miles south. Shopping. <laughs> but um There's the there's a little Welsh village for you all. And there's a load of tracks up over there. But we've had a problem with latch disease. Uh, if it's been going through the valley, 75% of the trees have had to be chopped down around our valley. And um, I think it's up to 60 years for regrowth. Um, it's not bad to humans and dogs and cattle. But um, apparently this latch disease chews through the trees and would have gone right through the South Wales valleys. Do I sound like Judith Chalmers? Right, let's have a look what's by here. There's my baby! That's the Surly ice cream truck. Sold two to buy one. Mick, Mark, this review is for you. Lee, you're my mechanic. And the rest of the boys, 5H5. You know who you are. All part of the dream team. Here's the flagship monster. Pro Molly frame. 41302 wind, triple butted. So I'm guessing they triple butted on the corners. So obviously triple, double, single. So it's thinner in the centre, I'm guessing. Then goes back to double, then goes back to triple. And then he's an oversized headset with the Chris King integrated. Uh, it's set there, the fellow was running it in orange Well, I bought it off so I can change the colour I think they're quite expensive um, There's a salsa seat clamp as well He's running a 7 degree Thompson layback So there she is in silver With the charged saddle But I've got a pale blue saddle coming from Taiwan as we speak And a nice pale blue one to match, match the frame It's a Thompson 0 degree stem and 70 mil long. I've got about 30, 35 mil worth of spaces in there. Keep the front end quite nice. Topped off with a Chris King top cap. Oh, I'm freezing. Fat boy bars just turned up. The best bars I got are off my brother, Mick from Oz. But they sort of go on the bike, come off the bike, because to me they're like they, a collector's like they're off a good friend. I don't really want to run them. But obviously I chucked these triple butted fat boys on, 785, I've gone back to 785 wide, 30, 30 millimetre high, double lights on the front, because um, I think I'm getting old for my age now and I'm, I'm going legal, so I chucked some lights on her. So that's the front end set up, she's got your Thompson, zero stack, um, 35 mil with a zero, zero degree on a 70 length, with a 785 wide bar, with a 30 BBE balance on the end, quite rubbery. They're nice, but they're a bit too short. I think we've got them in a 45 and a 65 or an 85. Uh, if you've got a bigger hand, go for the 85s, because there's, there's just not enough length for there to get, get, get your hands on. Um, answer grips come through yesterday, they're massive. They're like ODI rogues, a little bit thinner, but just as tacky. Um, the answer grips, um, they call them the Ansa Stein. If you look at the grooves, it's like a Stein jug, like a beer Stein jug. Um, XT brakes, first time I've used an XT brakes, I'm struggling really because of the modulation. 
Um, it seems like they're either on or off, whereas I'm used to the Avids, the DB3s, and the Avid Juicy 3s and the Juicy 5s. Um, but coming up to the XTs, I don't know, they, you know, they're pretty, uh, pretty rapid for me, like. So I'll see 183 rotor at the front, 163 on the rear. Um, what else are we using Yeah, We're using a set of um, Shirley Clown Shoe rims. They're 26 inches in diameter. 100 mil wide. Look at these bad boys. So she's 100 mil wide on a 26 rim. Um, running 4.8 tyres. A bed on the front. A Lou on the rear. Really grippy there, tubeless. And I'm bouncing along, lovely. First time I've ever gone tubeless. Um, they were already tubeless when I bought the bike. And I tell you what. I'm going to have to turn the Norco tubeless because she feels lighter overall than, uh, than the Norco Bigfoot and she's about £35 in weight and these are supposed to be £37 in weight so I'm guessing this could be £34, £33 or less I'm not sure what I haven't weighed her um, XT clutch mech on a rear I'm running a 36 cog on a front, a 36 22 um, the 36 is, um, and it's 11 36 cassette on the rear um, long, uh, an XT long, um, a long mech. We've got a small, medium, and large. This is the longer one. Um, on your down, it's got 90, it's a 96 or 94 BCD. So I don't know if I can get a bash guard for that because it's a low bottom bracket. Um, I would like to chuck a bash guard on her. Um, what else? 96 BCD. I don't know if there's much out for her. SLX front mech. Um, but a 36 22 around these hills seems spot on. And they're the surly old cranks under the 75 length in under the 75 length. Um, new V8s, I think V8s are enough. Um, just re-grease them from the start. And you're laughing. And these rubbers are going to be changing the lilac. The same as these brake pieces are changing the lilac um, in the next week or so when they come from Taiwan. Double bottle cages on the front and a single one there. Bottom bracket's massive. I reckon they base this bike from a bottom bracket because she must be about 135, 132, 135 long. She's massive. So I reckon they must have based the bike from that. So obviously from there, you look at the front end. It's a 150, I think it's 150 front end by, by 12. So obviously she's 150 wide by 12, chrome molly forks. She's a monster. On the back end, you go even bigger because you're talking salsa hubs on the front and rear. She's 197 on the back. She's got. A, she's talking a 197 width rim, a 197 width hub, 26 inch wheel, and an 100 mil wide wide rim with a 4.8 tire. So an absolute monster. Um, bolt through axles as well. Just unscrew that. I think it's a five or a seven. Undo that. Pop it through. Tire pops out. Loads of clearance. So I look, there's loads of tire clearance. And that's running, running a four eight, what's that? Here we go. You see there's loads of clearance, that's a four point eight in there. There's still loads left. Um don't know what else to say really. She's a beauty to ride. And that's the view from the cockpit. Um, overall, they've got custom decals on there, got my name on there, ice cream truck was written there, but I peeled them off because I got some custom decals coming. Um, if I have a look, good, look, a good look at the colour, um, there's pearl in the blue, it's called Jack Frost Blue, also it comes in black, which is the Ops version, and there's a yellow version coming out at the end of the year, so obviously this only comes in three colours, black, Jack Frost Blue or this new yellow coming out but she's, she's an absolute monster ride wise she's really slack I think she's 68 68 slack on the front on the head angle and about 70 to 72 on the back I'm not exact and I think she's about 450 or 460 length on the chain stays by there but I tell you what, what a bike you've got to try one of these um, I've, I've rode loads over the years and um, ride wise I've only had her a fortnight but if you can imagine um, a 6 inch travel 
like the Owlsworth Mole Mints I've tried. I had a couple of them, I had a couple of um, Owlsworth Rogues. Um, the Brooklyn Race Link, which was steel, 4130 as well. And it feels like a combination of the three bikes. Um, the top two length is about 612. And so obviously it's a 17 to an 18 inch seat tube with a 612 head um, top tube. So you imagine you're riding a medium bike with a large frame top tube. That's how, that's how I, can, I can explain. And then you've got your width for your tyres, your 4.8s. And ride wise, she just blows me away. As good as a Brooklyn in an all mountain rig. Um, as good as the Ellsworth. Ellsworth was my favourite. And the Turner Sultan 29 was a nice bike. But this, this beats them. This beats them hands down. If I knew how this bike rode back in the day, I would have had this from the start and just classed everything as one bike. I would have done everything on this. Because this has helped me climb up a mountain, my heavy 20 stone, uh, my lack of fitness. But if we have a look, it's got me up around these hills. It's got me up around here, easy. And I've got an 85 litre backpack on, um, camera gear. If we have a look, I'm carrying a um, harness, camera gear. Um, so there you go. This bike seems to do it all. So Mick and Mark, this is for you. I know I keep on mourning about fat bikes. But if you get a, a chance to try one of these, and especially anyone out there who haven't gone tubeless, it's totally different. It's, it's like a game changer. It seems to be floating along. I'm on, that, I'm on my way now. It's mostly downhill on the way, but it's pretty cold, pretty windy. But I'm smiling all the way because this is the business. And I'm really happy with it. But any questions, give me a give me a shout on it, and I'll see if I can help. Brother and I, have a good day. Dream team all the way.